Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Obviously, if you guys watch the show, you know that one of my favorite things to talk about and to try to encourage you all to think about is the invaluable nature of your time and your energy. The two things that you literally cannot ever get back. And while you should not be spending your time and energy on people who are not reciprocating or committing to you, specifically in a romantic situation. And we are not stopping talking about it anytime soon because this is an epidemic. It is an epidemic that we need to address. I mean, it has become such a constant point of discussion online. And today, we have a new label for part of this conundrum, the forever girlfriend, and we have to talk about it. But before we do, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. Okay, so I think that this term has been around for a while. I have just never used it or seen it. And it's very simple, but I love it. And I love, love, love that more people are talking about this very openly. But this guy tweeted and said, the rise of the forever girlfriend is one of the most under-discussed political phenomenons of our time. And I wouldn't really say it's political. I think it's more cultural, obviously, that is, you know, upstream from politics. It's all sort of connected, but I do think it's more cultural. It is crazy how common this arrangement is, even among the middle-class people in suburbs. In fact, it is most common among the children of middle-class people in the suburbs, which helps explain the demographic hole we currently find ourselves. Why do you guys think women's self-reported happiness levels are so low? Maybe they are so low because they're spending their precious childbearing years giving up everything to a man without even attempting to demand commitment whatsoever. And then they're going to resent him because of this, all while he has no incentive to propose or move the relationship forward because he is getting a wife on a girlfriend's salary. So why would he change his mind? This tweet was made in reference to another tweet also highlighting this issue. And this user wrote, my latest obsession is the woman on TikTok whose boyfriend of eight years bought a house solely in his name and is making her remodel it and pay half the expenses. Like, girl, you are getting his house ready for him and his future wife, it's not gonna be you. This is a mess. This cannot be good. Somebody said, homegirl deserves better than being used as a free interior decorator. Another person said, that's what you get when you accept girlfriend status for eight years. And of course, to be totally fair, it is not completely her fault because he is taking advantage of her in the situation, but she, as a woman, is in the position of power and she's able to draw the line in the sand. We've talked about this before, but women control access to sex. They are in the dominant position in most of these relationships. Rather than waiting around, hoping that he'll commit, trying to prove that she will be a good wife or partner, she should leave. Maybe he'll learn and regret it and come back later on, or maybe he won't, and she will be better off because she'll move on to somebody better. But if after eight freaking years, almost a decade of adulthood, they started dating when she was 20 years old, if a man will not commit to you, if he does not know that he wants to marry you, you are in trouble and it is on you to leave. That is 115%, 50%, 200%, your responsibility. It's been 84 years. Somebody commented and said, oh God, no, somebody warn her. Thankfully, people have been warning her in more ways than one, which is why she deactivated her TikTok account. So sadly, we don't have any clips from her page, but this girl does a great breakdown of everything that's going on and offers some very sage advice. I'm not gonna speak on nobody's shit, but something about this video did not sit well with my spirit, all right? This man worked hard, saved his coins, purchased a home without her. Purchased a home without her. The house is under his name and his name alone. She is now renovating that home for that man uh -uh. for free. He is charging her rent to stay there. She is paying rent, living in a home that her boyfriend of eight years owns, that she is renovating for free. She's paying to live at a construction site. We have utterly failed women if they actually believe that this is what life is cracked up to be, if this is what relationships should be. It's laughable. I was about to say it's asinine, but it really is just laughable. I mean, it should be common sense that this is not right, that you deserve more, that you are not receiving basic care and respect, that you are being taken advantage of. I mean, she's basically loaning herself out for free, expecting that he's going to, you know, pay her back in the form of an engagement ring or commitment. Newsflash, probably won't happen. That is a terrible business deal. You should never be in that kind of debt. If you are in debt though, you're struggling with collections, medical bills, credit cards, or personal loans. Unlike this girl, hopefully it's not that kind of personal loan. You need to check out PDS Debt. They are an innovative one-stop shop to guide you on your journey to freedom from debt. There is no one size fits all solution to becoming debt free, which is why PDS Debt offers multiple programs and solutions tailored to your specific needs, your budget, and your future financial goals. Whether you are going through a serious hardship or just can't seem to keep up with the high interest on your credit cards, that's all of us in Joe Biden's economy, PDS Debt will craft a custom solution to give you instant relief and start saving you money right away. If you're making payments every month on your debt and your balances are not going down, this program is for you. PDS Debt provides options that consolidate your debts into one low monthly payment. Anyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there is no minimum credit score required. They want to help anyone with good and bad credit. 
credit. Plus, with PDS Debt, you will save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. PDS Debt is here to help you guys, and they are offering my viewers a free debt analysis, and it only takes 30 seconds to do. Head over to pdsdebt.com slash cooper to get your free debt assessment today. Again, guys, that is pdsdebt.com slash cooper today. They'll get you out of a sticky situation. I don't think they can help this girl, though, which is unfortunate. She also has a full-time job. So she's putting in these man hours outside of work I love this for girl. free for a man who has not proposed to her. They're not engaged. It's been eight years. One thing I know about a man, about a man with that much audacity, is they thrive in relationships with women who are as, as insecure as you are. I saw a TikTok a while back and this man was like, you know, you don't have to lie to a woman because if she loves you enough, she'll lie to herself. Oh, it's so bad. She was in that video really trying to convince us that we just don't understand their dynamic. Baby, that man hates you. He don't want you. Mm -mm. He don't want you. He waiting on, he's waiting on his wife. It reminds me of that phrase. I guess it's more of a pop psychology idea. It's this concept that a man will be with a woman for a long time, will invest years with a woman, and then will seemingly get engaged to and marry the next girl just like that. And then the ex is going, why wasn't I enough? What's going on? It's because he knows instantly. Maybe she drew a line in the sand. Maybe her desires for commitment were stronger than yours. I have no idea. That is a trend. We have a whole episode about it. If you want to hear more, I think it's a very, very important one. It's all part of the same idea. But anyway, that girl really hit the nail on the head. I knew it! Oh! Somebody said, why weren't they saving together for their future? Especially after eight years. He was able to save up for a house was able to save up for a ring, that speaks volumes. Hello. And that girl is right. TikTok has been ablaze. She turned off her comments. Then it got so bad that she just deleted her TikTok altogether. And like I said, I don't know what happened because obviously she is offline now, but I hope that she took some of that advice because she is 28 years old. Those are her prime years. She should not waste a single second on this man who is not committing to her. And she certainly should not be decorating and renovating his home and literally paying him to do it. She is paying rent to live in a construction zone and renovate his home. Somebody on Twitter said, I think this has a lot to do with the redefinition of marriage to simply mean dating plus or long-term romantic relationship with some added flair, with the addition of a fun celebratory party that you pay $70,000 for to throw for all your friends and family. It's lost its institutional value, which it turns out was very important to the whole thing. The line between is already blurred, and I completely agree, because there are no stakes in many modern relationships. There is no clear destination. And if you are giving it all away without the promise of commitment, you give them no reason to desire more. And for women, it is truly wrong. You should not put yourself in a situation where that could happen to you. We have a set amount of childbearing years. If you are dedicating that precious time to a man, you're dedicating your body, your attention, your care, your homemaking abilities, you better be damn sure that he is reciprocating and understands what you are giving to him. Another person said, one of the worst things to happen to women is denying them commitment while expecting sex, usually denying children or denying the children a committed father. It used to be considered degrading, but now it is the norm and portrayed in pop culture as the way to get a relationship, 100%. Again, this is so, so common, which I think is why people like that girl on TikTok make videos defending it, not seeing any problem with it because it happens every single day. I mean, just last week, Megyn Kelly was tweeting about this in yet another thread on X. A woman tweeted and asked, I have a friend who has been in a relationship for five years. She is 32 now. He is 35. He says that he loves her, but doesn't feel ready to move in or commit. Thoughts? And somebody quote tweeted it and said, if you want to get married, have kids, being honest with yourself on this is an important first step. Two years max on relationships after 25 if it is not moving forward. Bethany Shondark, who's a user on Twitter, says shorter, but same vibe. If you are not interested in those two things, different math, my two cents. Completely agree. And then Megan Kelly jumped in with this. Here's some more truth. If he is not pursuing, calling, actively reaching out to you, he is not into you. Any woman who has to demand a proposal or give an ultimatum to a man to get a marriage proposal should know he doesn't want you. So shut up, Brain. We've talked about that before. And sleeping with him on the first date is a great way to tell him many men have been here and there's absolutely nothing special about me. It's harsh, but it's very true. I also love her reply when she turned it on men as well and said, also to men who do not feel inclined to actively pursue, she is not the right one for you. Move on. Yes, because the thing is, men know. Talk to any happily married man out there, they will say, I knew almost instantly. Didn't take long at all to know that this is the woman that I wanted to be my wife. Ask Matt Walsh, ask Jeremy Boring, ask Michael Knowles, that is the woman I want. Philosophy Cat touched on this and said, 
It means he loves having her around, loves all the perks of a relationship, but doesn't love her enough to make a commitment. It's harsh, but it's true. If she's okay with being his comfort blanket and not a committed partner, stay and accept that he's unlikely to commit. If commitment is what she wants, then she should consider leaving. When men say they don't want to commit, believe them. They rarely change. I mean, at this point, it is commonly understood by psychologists that it only takes six to seven months for an average person to know whether they would marry somebody, whether somebody is marriage material. And women, in their gut, they also know. And if you don't care, if you don't want to get married, that's fine. I'm not talking to you. But if there is even a thought in your mind that you want to get married, that you want to have kids, get out, cut loose, because again, you have a set amount of time. You have a window. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Those are precious years. If you see the signs that he is being wishy-washy and not interested in commitment, do not try to change him or fix him and certainly do not try to convince him that he should want to marry you for eight whole years. That is ridiculous. You do not want to be the recipient of a shut-up ring. Have some self-respect and respect the time of your partner. That goes both ways. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.